Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand what is the role in Salesforce and what is the role hierarchy in Salesforce. So in short, roles is used in order to define an organization structure like who reports to whom that can be easily defined with the help of roles in Salesforce. Let us consider a real time example. So right now I have few of these roles. The CEO is at the top position. CEO is one of the role. CEO is at the top position and CTO and CPO that is chief people officer reports to the CEO and senior HR and VP reports to the CTO. So who reports to whom can be easily defined with the help of the roles in Salesforce. The one of the most important thing of roles or role hierarchy in Salesforce is the working of the roles and role hierarchy in Salesforce is whatever data the senior HR owns is visible to the CTO as senior HR reports to the CTO. Okay, so basically whatever records that senior HR will own or the VP will own will be visible to CTO as these both reports to the CTO. Same way, whatever records that is owned by the CTO will be visible to CEO as well. The reason is the CTO is reporting the CEO. Not only this, Whatever the data record, uh, whatever the records are owned by the senior HR will be also visible to CEO as senior HR reports to the CTO and CTO reports to the CEO. So C CEO is a supreme who will be able to see all the records of all the users almost. Now one of the catch over here is senior HR won't be able to view the data of VP that is vice president. The reason is because they belong on the same level. VP and senior HR are on the same level. So they both report to the CTO and they both are at the same level hence they won't be able to see each other's data. This can be further achieved with the help of uh, sharing settings and other things but right now the default working is this way that people on the same level won't be able to see their own data. So let's jump to a Salesforce hoc to understand and create roles further. So inside my Salesforce org, in quick find, just type roles and you will be able to see roles over here. So as we come to this role, we are able to see the same thing that CEO is able to see the data of Western Sales Director as Western Sales Director is reporting to the CEO. The same goes for the Western Sales Rep and every other user. Now I'm just going to click on the setup rules and if we click on plus as we can see CEO is at the top position and CFO reports to the CEO and CEO reports to the CEO. So all CFO, CEO and all these users, all these roles are at the same level. So in order to add the role below CEO, CFO, let's click on add role. And let's consider uh, we will create a role named as test1 and it reports to the CFO. So test1, it only on report, it's only on report part. We can also assign the users from here or also we can create a new user. So again we will go to the roles. As we can see, below CFO, our role test one is added. So this is how the roles and role hierarchy is created in Salesforce. Hope you found this video helpful. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel.